how was that pro and I know I know uh certain jujitsu guys, uh I won't name names, but uh, they get injured injured and they'll inject it in the shoulder. It's like uh site location for injection. How would that work? Stem cells trying to fix the your heart issue. How are they injecting it? What's the process? What's the protocol? So they take a bunch of blood out of you, then they put it in a lab and then I don't know where they get the stem cells from. I know there's different different ways to create stem cells. Some some are from embryo, some yeah. I don't remember where they get theirs, but they definitely make them. There's some clinic of stem cells that are buying them and then there's some who are so those guys have their own lab and they're making everything. Mm -hmm. And then they just uh, you know, they do like principle like a bio biopsy, same as a biopsy thing. They just inject inject this into your bloodstream. Okay. And then it's already programmed in the lab to change into cardiac cells. And uh, you feel like immediately better. Mm. I've done also something that was helping me a lot, which is called NAD. NAD. Yeah. And this was like, wow. This is the youth elixir everyone's talking about. Yeah. Um, like, but you, wow. fe you feel it a bit. Did you get itchy from it a little bit on NAD? No. No, they do a lot of NAD drips here. It's um, there's a lot of information on the biohacking that this is the uh, youth uh, elixir that will reduce your age because essentially at the end of the day, the reason we age is because of oxygen. Mm -hmm. It's like an apple. Go leave an apple on your counter. Yeah, it's gonna. It's just when you're adding so much oxygen, this is what's. Yeah, I've, I've read an article a few months ago that says if you're breathing oxygen, pure oxygen, pressurized, so on on the water or in a chamber with a bit of pressure and you do this daily, it would also slow down your aging. Yeah, I don't know if Well, that, it's a question true. of, I mean, for me, I'm like, I'm good after after 75. The second a knee gives out, just fuck, just throw me out. Throw me out to sea. I want to live as old <laughs> as I possibly can. You, you, would you, would uh, you live to 200 if you could? Yes, But please. I mean, you'd have to be, I mean, obviously you don't want to be d decrepit is the word, meaning you want to be able to walk around. I'll take anything. If we can roll you around. <laughs> I'll take anything. What is the reason for that? You want to see the future? You're yeah. curious? Yeah. What do you think the future will be like maybe in say, let's keep it simple, 50 years? Um, I don't know, but there's, there's going to be some bad things and then good things. Uh, I want to see the, the good things. Yeah, I definitely think that uh, I'm super interested in longevity. I don't know if you know this guy, Sinclair. I yes. think he's from Norway. Or, or like one of those North European countries. Yep. I li I'm like a huge fan of him and uh, and what he's doing in his, I think he works with stem cells as well. And it's, it's the science is like going up in terms of yeah, longevity. Okay. And I think within the next 50 years, longevity of humankind will increase drastically. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's there now. I think it's, it's, but people don't know about it. And that's because it's like any new technology. It's too expensive. I'm sure there are billion, uh, billionaires out there and they can maybe grow a kidney in a lab and whatever. Mm -hmm. But the point is it's not feasible. It's too expensive for the average person. But I guarantee you in 10, 15 years, you'll be able to, you know, grow a liver and you have a liver problem, have a heart problem. We, you don't, it won't be so like, you know, having to do with transplants. And I think that, that will be the biggest part of it. The part that does concern me the most will be the brain. And how do you keep that healthy? Because there's a certain point with dementia and Alzheimer's, like you can still like ALS, you know, this disease. ALS is, they did that, um, uh, what was it? The water ice cold challenge where people are dumping bu buckets of ice on their mm -hmm, head mm -hmm. years ago. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I remember. That was for, to raise awareness for ALS. And basically what ALS is, I think it's Lou Gehrig's disease. It was a baseball player, also called ALS. It's basically like all your motor functions go away. You'll be in a wheelchair. You can't do anything, but your mind is 100%. Better than, better yes, than nothing. Yeah. But I think opinion. the mind, that's why we're doing our, our lion's mane, not to shill or sell anything like that. That's the one reason I got behind lion's mane. Uh, it's been used in uh, Asia for hundreds and hundreds of years. And there's a lot of Chinese papers on it. Obviously, there's none in the U.S. or Europe because you have to pay to write those papers. And, well, we know who funds universities. So, therefore, why would I fund that paper? Mm. But there's a lot in Asia. And they've proven this pill, if you take like a gram of day of a good, 
uh, quality of that, you reduced Alzheimer's and dementia by 60%. Wow. So you tell me that uh, if I just take one of these per day for the rest of my life, I can reduce it by 60%, especially if it's in your family. Sure, why not? I mean, we're yeah. already taking vitamin Cs and stuff. So. Yeah. Give me some. My gra yeah. grandfather well, well, died of Alzheimer's. So. My, my grandfather died of Alzheimer's as well, and that's the reason I got behind it because it's better than a coin flip. If, if you said, even if, honestly, even if you said 15%, mm. if you give me 15% more chance and I just need to take this thing and I'm already taking my vitamin Bs and Cs and omegas, well, well why not? Let's just toss it in the mix. Totally agree. Yeah. I, I take a, a few supplements as well, not for, uh, not for sports, just for longevity, for health. Yeah, but, uh, supplements are uh, they're very underrated, but you need to know it's the bit how we're probably at an hour, right? Okay, we're gonna cut this off in a second. We're trying to keep these under an hour. I get so interested with the guests, that's why I like I'm like, no, I can easily go another. But if you enjoyed this content, we're doing five clips like this a week. If you want to watch the full podcast, click here.